Sadana here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we're going to be doing like a quick clipping extension hairstyle. I'll be using my old kinky clipping extensions from Curls Curls. So right now to revive this hair, I'm just going to go ahead to give it like a quick wash. And to wash it, I'm using my Curls Popping Pineapple Curl Wash. I'll just wash this, run some water through while your finger detangling. These are the Afro Kinky Coily Hair Extension that mimics type 4B, 4C natural hair. These are literally the most affordable natural kinky hair extension that I've ever tried. And it's still rocking. So it comes in like 10 wefts of clippings and it retails for I think $89. And also just one pack of it does the job for like a full head. So you just need only one bag and you'll be totally good. So now I'm just going to go ahead to use my hair mask the curls popping pineapple collection as well to deep condition this hair and i left it on for about 15 minutes just so the entire deep conditioner actually absorbs into this hair and the hair feels moisturized and it also feels a lot softer now it's been 15 minutes later and i'm just going to go ahead to rinse off this hair mask from this hair and the last final step that we did was to do some protein treatment and this is the bamboo protein treatment from curls as well it's their green tea collection so this just helps to strengthen the hair give it that extra moisture and also makes it more luscious and gives it that extra shine as well you know what i mean exactly so this is what the hair looks like right now moving on to the styling and natural hair is currently in twist as i just took down the afro crochet hairstyle i don't know if you guys remember that hairstyle yes exactly so i just took down that hairstyle before i actually did this video I just wanted like a really quick hairdo for a virtual event that i was attending so i decided to do this hairstyle real quick before i went ahead to wash my natural hair the following day so this hairstyle was actually inspired by hair dola cream here on youtube she had like a very similar hairstyle to this but like with a different texture of hair extension and i loved how it looked i was like I'm definitely going to try this out, you know. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead to pat out the side of my hair. So for this side of my hair that I just patted out, I'll be doing like a crisscross band situation over there. And for my leave out to cover the tracks of this hair extension, I'm just going to leave out this front line right here that I'm currently flat twisting. If you don't know how to flat twist, you could just use a butterfly clamp to have that out of the way. I'll also be leaving out the sides of this hair right behind the crisscross rubber band area so just right in this perimeter like i'm currently flat twisting right now so all the way around this area just so when i do the clipping extension it'll be easy for everything to blend in and look a lot flawless okay <laughs> ignore my scalp i know i'm due for wash day but i need this hairstyle like as soon as possible and i also didn't find the need for me to go wash my hair and then put on this gel and then go wash it again no 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 not too much <laughs> so as you guys can see i'm currently thinking of how do i even start this conroll like i'm like how do i position my hands but right now i'm going to go ahead to conroll the rest of my natural hair all back like the rest of the other ones that's left if you don't know how to conroll you could do like flat twists and it's going to be fine as well you just need like a base to be able to clip your extension onto that's all you need so if you don't know how to conroll feel free to do flat twists it just works the same as well okay cornrows doesn't have to be perfect as you guys can see mine is not even close to being perfect you just need the base that will eventually end up being covered so you don't have to make sure that your patterns are straight and all of this stuff you know <laughs> I'm basically done conrowing the entire hair at the back I'm just going to go ahead to start on these clippings and I'll just open them just like so you know beep, there you go beep, mm -hmm. beep, mm -hmm. beep, mm -hmm. and then beep, uh -huh. and I just start planting these into your conrows and also make sure that when you put this into your conrows you close the clips back so you clap it back like clap Make sure you clap it back just so your clipping stay in place and it wouldn't move and also it stays laid down in a way that would be perfect for you without any form of discomfort. 
just go ahead to keep on clipping this hair extension all around the back of my hair so i didn't end up using the entire bundle of hair so i still had about two wefts going on when i was done one bundle was more than enough for me for this hairstyle also if you want to see how i installed like a full head of hair with this bundle of clippings from curls i'll be sure to leave that video down below in the description box i had that video here about a couple months ago so i'll be sure to leave it down below so you could also check that out if you want like a full head of installation i'll just go ahead to keep on installing these clippings while making sure that everything is nicely laid and then right now go ahead to unravel the leave out so i can blend in my natural hair into these clippings so everything blends in flawlessly also i have a coupon code for these clipping extensions i'll be sure to leave that down below in the description box as well as the link to this hair as well everything is going to be down below so to blend my natural hair into these clippings i'm going to go ahead to use my eco styler <laughs> gel i wanted like a water-based gel that would just give you that smooth texture without necessarily like slicking as in slicking down as in laying down flat i just wanted that smooth effortless lightweight look so i applied this gel onto my natural hair and just use this to blend into these clippings also it's also important oh my god is that english also it's important to know that if you have kinky hair, hair kinky natural hair it's important to actually have your natural hair in braids or single plaits or single twists just so it can be a little stretched out before blending it with this extension it makes it a lot easier to blend where your hair is a little stretched out compared to if your natural hair is like in its shrunken state so this makes it a lot easier to blend in like you guys can see so i'll just go ahead to blend everything together then we can move on to the other part of our natural hair which is this other side that we have left out where we'll be doing like the entire crisscross ruban style for this side of my natural hair prior to starting i'll just go ahead to spray some water just to give it that hydration a little bit because my natural hair is currently dry as you guys can see and now I'll just go ahead to start off with the parting and putting on this rubber bands so right now i'm doing the square part and prior to putting on any rubber band or your natural hair you want to make sure that you're oiling oiled <laughs> so you're using like an oiled rubber band just so you can make the elastic band to be more pliable and it's a lot easier to take down when it's time to take it down without breaking your natural hair so putting oil in your rubber band is quite important however you want to make sure that you're not putting too much oil because it, it what's it called it reduces the elasticity of the elastic band and makes it break off easily so you want to make sure that you're putting just a little bit of oil on your elastic bands before putting it on your natural hair now just go ahead to apply some of my eco styler gel as well to each strand of this patterns that we're doing before putting them in this little ponytails so i had about eight natural hair ponytails in total so the first line was two ponytails the second line here was three ponytails and then the last line was another three ponytails after which i went ahead to start crisscrossing all of them just like you would see Now that I'm basically done crisscrossing everything, I just went ahead to grab these last two strands of ponytails that we have left. I put that in a twist, like a little twist, and then use the bobby pin to hold it down and then fluff the ends just so I can blend it to the rest of the clippings as well as the rest of my natural hair that was at the back. And then right now I'm just using my bristle brush to brush in everything to make sure it's properly blended and everything looks natural and seamless while I do like a quick edge, you know, swoop swoop edges look. And then right now I'm going to go ahead to put on my satin hair wrap 
and left this to dry for about 45 minutes it wasn't completely dry yet but it was dry to an extent that was you know that was pretty good enough and this was basically all i did for this hairstyle you guys it was very quick and i really love how it came out looking i did a little trim here and there as you guys would see course some accessorization to make everything complete <laughs> well that was basically it you guys i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up comment share subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one and have a great weekend love you bye <laughs> Say she 